Two chemical tanks exploded in October of 2019 in Crockett. That fire burned 15 acres around the tanks. Now, after a year plus investigation, we are finally seeing what investigators found. KTVU's Tom Baker joins us now live from near the New Star plant with the details. Tom. Well, the first thing that happened was they released a 525-page scathing report talking about faults, errors, omissions that the company committed that led to the explosions. But on top of that, they basically said it was an accident just itching to happen. A static electricity buildup or a spark in one tank due to improper grounding are the most likely causes of the first tank containing ethyl alcohol to explode. When the roof blew off that tank, it landed on a neighboring tank causing a second explosion. It seems that they had a lot to cover up. Crockett resident Ed Tannenbaum is a member of the publicly set up Refinery Fence Line Committee a citizens group that watchdogs the refinery next door. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid of this company right now. The reason for his concern is found in a report just issued by a joint commission of Contra Costa agencies. At first, Newstar resisted post-explosion inspections, which resulted in several warrants to inspect the complex as well as obtain records and video. One reason the facility may have resisted at first is this shocking finding. Contra Costa County Development Conservation um, Department was not able to find any permits or plans for this portion of the tank farm. Those construction and building plans are required by law to avoid shoddy or illegal construction. But it appears that none were ever submitted and no permits were ever pulled. Since they built tanks without permits, they were trying to skate around taxes, it looks like. On top of that, it found that Newstar failed to properly install and correctly inspect tank sensors, including explosivity sensors. And a tank venting safety valve was not operating after it failed a few years before the incident. That valve, so to speak, was removed and we could not find any documentation that that valve was replaced. The tanks also had structural deficiencies. Investigators also found the company may have tampered with physical evidence after the explosion. A public citizen wouldn't be able to get away with this stuff, but apparently these corporations can. The company issued a lengthy statement saying that it has installed many safety improvements and that all of its permits to operate the plants are in order. However, Newstar says any issues about construction permitting is a matter with the former owner from who Newstar brought the t bought the tank farm back in 2005. But I can tell you this, some reg regulators are going to say there is a duty owed to the stockholders, there is a duty owed to the owners of the company to make sure that what you're buying actually comports with the law. That's called due diligence. Tom Vakar, KTVU. Fox 2 News. So Tom, where does what is this or where do things go from here? Is this over or could Newstar possibly face fines or violations for uh, the allegations that it didn't have plans or permits for those tanks? Well, they kind of have to come to some most probable cause uh, finding, and uh, obviously the company's liable for a lot of things. One of the things for sure is that they're going to have to get those things permitted, and that may require a lot of work, which probably has already been done at this point in time. But as to fines and things like that, that could be a long-haul kind of problem, as would be any lawsuits. And at this point in time, this is the first really major step, other than what was done to get the plant back online, to getting the public right, what, what actually went on here and continues to go on here in terms of providing the service that it 